This is Sky World News with Hannah Tallett. The top story is Israel's governing Likud party has taken a narrow lead in the country's general election. Benjamin Netanyahu has already hailed the result as a great victory. 70% of the votes have been counted. Earlier on, exit polls suggested that Isaac Herzog's opposition Zionist union was neck and neck with Likud. And international relief agencies have made urgent appeals for more aid to help the people of Vanuatu following the cyclone at the weekend. Around 100,000 people are thought to have been left homeless. Well, we asked Barbara Slavin of the Atlantic Council in Washington how a return to power by Mr Netanyahu would be received in the United States. Well, I'm afraid it's going to be continued tension between the Obama administration uh, and Netanyahu. Uh, as you know, there are major differences over Iran in particular, but also over uh, Arab-Israeli peace negotiations. And given what Prime Minister Netanyahu had to say about the two-state solution, I'm afraid that's going to cause some real problems here in, in Washington. Uh, President Obama would like to see those talks revived, and uh, it looks very, very difficult, very, very bleak if the prime minister is again going to be Bibi Netanyahu. It's very unlikely that the United States would push the Palestinians to hold new elections uh, before uh, trying to move forward on the peace process. Uh, the results would be very uncertain, and uh, I think the United States is satisfied that Abbas is a, a reasonable partner for peace. Certainly there are others in the Palestinian uh, uh, political circles who are less favorable than, than he is. But the, the potential for such talks, frankly, looks pretty bleak right now.